Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca Advanced Level Training. So this is our lesson 6 in terms of Advanced Level Training. But it's a 21st lesson in terms of overall Tricentis Tosca Automation Concepts. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how can we create cleanup scenarios and then how can we use cleanup scenarios by using Tricentis Tosca latest version 16. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so now let us understand what is this cleanup scenario and why do we need to use this cleanup scenario in Tosca? So by end of this lesson, you will be able to create and use cleanup scenario. And this is very useful when recovery scenario is unrecovered. So whenever your recovery scenario is unrecovered, then these cleanup scenarios comes into picture. So if recovery scenario fails, if you want Tasker to reset and restart your application or your system under test, and put it into the correct status of for your next test case, right? Then you can use these cleanup scenarios. And whenever test case is not recoverable, cleanup scenario will kickstart to clean up a testing environment so that it will be ready or it is ready for your next test case run. Okay? And cleanup scenarios can be added to recovery scenarios collection. So basically the recovery scenarios as well as as well as the cleanup scenarios both will be added to recovery scenario collections. So now let's jump onto the system and see how can we create and use cleanup scenarios by using latest version Tricentis Tosca 16. Okay. So this is uh, my Tosca 16, okay? So let us first understand the scenario where you would need a cleanup scenario to be created, okay? For that, I just created one test case, okay? It's a very simple end-to-end -end test case where we'll be navigating to the web shop and then you're gonna log in and then you're gonna purchase the blue jeans. You're gonna add to cart and then you're gonna complete your checkout process okay so you're going to purchase the blue jeans okay so that's what the scenario okay let me just run this particular test case so i already explained automating this end-to-end -end test case in my previous sessions okay so i would recommend you guys to visit my previous sessions so let me just run this test case okay <clears throat> so it opens your web shop okay click on login and then enter the username password right and then it's going to purchase the blue jeans add to cart and then agree the terms of services right so you remember agreeing the terms of services where you will be checking the box okay so so this is our straightforward scenario purchasing a blue jeans successfully order has been placed and close the browser log out and close the browser so now what if what if this test case gets failed in middle where let's say verifying the prices for example while start checkout process right here while checking out the process let's assume the terms of service okay let's say i'm going to fail this test case okay at terms of service it's not going to click on uh, the terms and uh, it's we are not going to accept the terms and conditions then what happens it's going to throw an error message saying that you have not accepted the terms and conditions so in this case this test case will fail okay let's save this so when this test case fails we need to trigger a cleanup scenario so that your environment will be cleaned up and it is ready for your next test case. So when you actually, let's go back to web shop again, okay? 
So what happens when you do that? Okay, let's say login. I'm logging into my Okay, logged in. Okay, so now once I log in, let's say apparels and shoes. So what I'm doing actually, I am clicking on this. I'm adding quantity of 10 to the cart, correct? And then going to shopping cart here, instead of agreeing this, I just clicked on checkout. Then you're going to get this error message. So then what happens? Your, your test case will fail. So once your test case fails, your website should be ready for your next test case execution. So when I log in again, what happens, right? Uh, in your shopping cart, this blue jeans will be added. It's already added. Uh, so what you need to do to recover or to put your environment to the same state, first you need to empty this shopping cart and log out and close the browser. Why I need to log out? Because whenever you enter one more time, next time, right? You directly landing onto your website with login. See, I can see I already logged in and in the shopping cart, I can see 10 items already there, right? So when, you, when your next test case is triggered, by default, your website be, will be landed in a such a way that you are already logged in and you have some items in the shopping cart. So that's why it's very necessary for you to empty the shopping cart and log out, right? That's what you need to do to execute your next test case, right? So that's why what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one recovery scenario where at here, right click, sorry, recovery scenario collection, right click and then create your recovery scenario collection. Okay. So what I'm going to do, so right click here and then create a recovery scenario. <laughs> Add recovery scenario collection. Okay. So let me just again show you. Okay. At the test case and top of the test case, I'm actually adding a recovery scenario collection. Under this, I'm going to add a cleanup scenario, create cleanup scenario. Okay. So here under this create cleanup scenario, I'm going to drag. See, this is my empty shopping cart test case. Okay. Drag and drop your empty shopping cart test case. Okay. Right. So I just created one cleanup scenario where it's going to navigate to the shopping cart it's gonna if you remember emptying shopping cart by using while loop right i already told you in my previous session where i have explained you how to use while loop so this is what the example i showed you how can we empty the shopping cart by using while okay the same test case i just dragged and drop into my cleanup scenario now to fail this previous test case i already removed this deleting my terms and service because I don't want to check. I don't want to agree the terms and services, right? So that's why I'm deleting that value. So now if you see here the structure, I have a recovery scenario at the parent level. Now I have one test case related to cleanup scenario, right? So when I execute this cleanup scenario, to execute this cleanup, cleanup scenario, one more thing is your recovery scenarios can be triggered only when you execute your test case by using execution list. So now let me drag and drop my recovery scenario test case. Okay. So let me simply execute this test case by using the recovery scenario. Okay. So this is my cleanup scenario test case. Okay. Okay. Let me just delete clean up everything. Okay. So now let me execute this cleanup scenario. When I execute this cleanup scenario, my test case is going to fail and then it should trigger my recovery scenario. Okay. So now let's right click and run this execution. 
So now it's going to log in, right? And then apparel and shoes. And it is going to add the jeans. And here, once you go to shopping cart, see now I'm not checking in that. It's going to check out. See, it's giving me an error. Now the test case will fail. But a recovery scenario will trigger, which will empty the shopping. See, it emptied the shopping cart, it logged out, and then closed the browser. So if you see here, your test case is failed. But the recovery scenario got triggered. See here, if you see here, sorry, I think this one. Okay, yeah, this one. See here, here you're not able to complete your checkout process, correct? Because of the agreement. And here, this test case is failed. Now, cleanup scenario got triggered and which cleaned up your environment by navigating to shopping cart, empty the shopping cart, logged out, and then close the browser. Now, you are ready to execute your next test case. So, hope you all understand how to use your recovery scenarios. Really, really very important. How can you use your cleanup scenario and what is the purpose of your cleanup scenario and how can you trigger the cleanup scenario? Okay, so if you have any queries, leave your comments in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. Thank you.